How does a system that no one has ever heard of bring down not one, but two aircraft? Hey, M0A Nation, Jason Shepard here, and welcome more as we dive deeper into our accident analysis series. I hope you loved last week's episode where we really dissected the Kobe Bryant crash. Um, as sad as that may be, there is so much to learn from that, and I enjoyed reading your comments on that as well. I was reading through their learning. Let's do the same thing here. Leave some of those comments. Make sure you like and subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're watching this. That means the world to us. But back to the intro here, how does a system that at that point pilots had never even heard of, in fact, in the, in the airplane manual, all it was left with was an abbreviation, MCAS, and, explain, or, and, and defined, but never actually explained. It managed to bring down not one, but two actual aircraft. Do you remember back to Lion Air 610? You see, when Lion Air 610 went down, Everybody was so quick to blame the pilots. They use things like, it's a foreign airline, their training's not as good, their pilots are not as good, this is a brand new airplane with incompetent pilots. Unfortunately, you're gonna see this theme continue throughout this series as well. By the way, can I give you some homework before we continue in this series? There's two more episodes after this, this series that'll be coming out. You need to go on Netflix and watch the movie Downfall. Have you seen it? Leave me a comment below. That's your next uh, movie night uh, with your loved ones. It's, it's good to watch with the family. Downfall uh, is the movie. It's on Netflix right now. Phenomenal uh, movie, documentary. It certainly has a bias like most documentaries do, but just watch it from a pilot perspective. But let's finish this here first, and then you can go do your homework assignment before next week. I want to dig into and I want to look more into Lion Air 610 because here you have two good pilots that had something go wrong with the aircraft and they had absolutely no clue what was happening. So the system we now know is called MCAS. And MCAS is actually designed, I'll use 23 Mike Zula as an example, MCAS was actually designed to push the nose back down automatically in the background if it sensed the angle of attack was too high. And at that moment there was no way to disable it Right, And on top of that, Boeing executives said, you know, we never trained anybody on MCAS or really told anybody at the airlines we sold it to or at the FAA because their words, we didn't want to overwhelm them with too much information. Well, let me share with you overwhelming and let's recreate the Lion Air 610 accident. We're catching up with the pilots now just kind of shortly after takeoff. There, I've taken it down a bit. I'm talking, they turned the AC down uh, just a little bit. There you are, says the co-pilot. All of a sudden, they hear the cavalry charge, the autopilot disconnect warning. The co-pilot says, did you put us on ignition start? I have the flight controls. It, and then you hear the ignition start. They're wondering, what, what is this, they say. We've got, we, we, haven't, we, we haven't got a good uh, display. Display of uh, speed. We're, we're, losing, speed we're losing wing anti-ice. Watch your speed, speed watch your speed. Low. Okay, I'm going, I'm going back low. down. Stabilize, stabilize. We're going back down. According to that, we're actually going up. According to all three, we're going up and then we're going back down. Low, it's going, we're, low, we're, we're going back Air down. Pull, pull. We're, we're in, yeah, yeah, we're, we're in a climb. And you hear the stall, stall. We hear that, you hear the sound of the stick shaker um, as well. Um, uh, above all, try, uh, try to touch the lateral controls as little as possible. I, I'm in toga, toga take off and go around. Um, is, it, is it coming or is it not? Stall, stall. We hear this over and over, the sound of the stick shaker going off here. But we've got engines, what is happening? Do you understand what's happening or not? I don't have control of the airplane anymore now. I don't have control of the airplane at all. Controls to the left now. I have the impression that we have speed. What are you doing? We are losing control of the airplane. We have lost control of the airplane. I don't understand. We've tried everything. So take, take that. Take, take that. I'm talking about take the. Try to take the controls from me. I have a problem. It's. Uh, I don't have a vertical speed indication. Uh, I have no more displays. Uh, I have the impression that we have some crazy speed now. What, what do you think? 
No, don't, no, don't extend the gear. Don't extend the gear. We're still going down. There, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Wait, wait, there we go. There we go. Put the wings to flat, the horizon, stabilize the horizon. Am I going down now? No, we're, we're climbing, okay? No, so we're going down. Okay, we're still in toga. What are we here uh, on altitude? What, what do we, what do we have? This is impossible. In altitude, what do we have, says the co-pilot. What do you mean, in altitude? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going down, no? Yes, you are going Airspeed. down. Oh. Hey, get the wings oh, horizontal. Oh. That's oh, what I'm oh. trying to do. I'm at the limit with the roll, with the, with the rudder bar. Wings horizontal, gently, gently. No, no, wait, we, wait, we're, we're passing Airspeed. through level 100. Airspeed. What is this? How come we're continuing to go down right now? 9,000 feet. I've been max nose up here for a while. Again, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in toga. Wait, watch it. You're pitching up. You're pitching terrain, up. Terrain. Well, we need to. We're at 4,000 feet. Pull up. Pull up. What is terrain, happening? Terrain. Pull up. This can't be true. Those are the last words on the cockpit voice recording. Can you hear, I know you just heard my voice, but there are three voices in that aircraft at the time. I can't even fathom the, the, or comprehend the, the unexplainable pressure and just trying to figure out what was going on. They were flying an aircraft that had literally, a, a system had taken over that they had no clue about. And what had actually happened, you'll learn this when you watch the movie Downfall, they lost their one and only angle of attack sensor, so they're getting false angle of attack readings, which caused them to do like you saw in that animation, these, can we call them dynamic type oscillations, where it would, I believe it was on 10 seconds, off five seconds, on 10 seconds, off five seconds, all the way down into the sea, as you saw there. What can we learn? And again, as you watch the movie uh, Downfall, you'll learn more about the Ethiopian crash that followed. And we're going to continue with a series about some other related accidents that you may not exactly be aware of. There's more history to this MCAS issue and really Boeing, uh, McDonnell Douglas and everything more than you actually realize. So we're going to uncover that. We're not going to have any biases or anything like that. We're going to dive into it. But I want to read your comments down below. What can we, as general aviation pilots, learn from this? Because there's a lot to learn. You can learn everything about your aircraft, everything about its systems, everything about the manufacturer of that aircraft, the manufacturer of your avionics, whatever that may be. You see, a good pilot is always learning isn't just some catchy marketing slogan that we use. It's truly something to live by. And I'll tell you what. I'll hold you accountable to that if you hold me accountable to that as well. M Missouri Nation, you are just such a blessing to us and everything that we're working to do here at M0A.com. I hope you're loving this video series. Do check out the ground school, M0Atrial.com if you want to take a trial. Can't wait to read your comments down below this video. Have a blessed, outstanding, abundant rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, be a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see ya.